And if he lied about all of that, what's to make us believe that he wasn't lying about everything else? This is Harvey Specter. He's an attorney. He's the best closer New York has ever had. The man needs no introduction. Well, let's introduce him still. This is Harvey Specter. He's our best closer. Harvey Specter is the main character in the movie series titled Suits. The series is about a lawyer who works for a firm called Pearson Hardman. Harvey Specter's boss, Jessica Pearson, was proud of him. She was pleased with Harvey because of the amount of results he would bring to the firm. Harvey Specter was cunning, manipulative, arrogant, and confident. He was smart. He wore $5,000 suits, maintained $500 haircuts. So do you think a fancy suit and a $500 haircut, that's gonna scare me? You could smell his success from far away. Harvey started as an associate at the firm. But because of good results he rose through the ranks until he became a named partner. Harvey Specter had a colleague named Louis Litt. Louis was envious of Harvey. Actually, he was jealous of Harvey. Harvey had a secretary named Donna. They worked together long enough to develop feelings for each other. They ultimately married at the end of the movie. When Harvey Specter was promoted from junior partner to senior partner he had to hire an associate. Harvey searched for an associate who was a younger version of himself. It so happened by coincidence that the same day that Harvey was interviewing, a young man, Mike Ross, was going to close a drug deal at the same hotel where the interviews were held. The drug deal turned out to be a setup. Mike Ross found the police waiting for him at the drop-off location where he was supposed to deliver the drugs. To ditch the police Mike posseed as one of the interviewees that had come for the interviews for the job. Mike entered into Harvey's office and by accident he dropped the briefcase full of the pot that he had come to deliver. Harvey asked him why he had those drugs in his briefcase. Mike told Harvey that he didn't come to the hotel for interviews but he was there to do a drug deal which turned out to be a setup. Mike told Harvey of his dream to become a lawyer. Mike had not gone to Harvard Law School and yet Harvey was only hiring from Harvard. Mike told Harvey that he knows much more about law than any graduate from Harvard. He explained to Harvey that the reason why he didn't go to law school is because he sold a math test to the daughter of Dean and was banned from ever writing the bar. Harvey tests Mike to see his level of knowledge of the law. It turns out that Mike has a photographic memory. He doesn't forget things after reading them once. Harvey hires Mike Ross even though Mike doesn't have a license to practice law. Harvey tells Mike that they'll have to lie to the firm that Mike went to Harvard. This team of Harvey and Mike was a perfect match. Mike became Harvey's errand boy. Mike had a girlfriend named Rachel Zane. She was a paralegal in the firm. They ended up getting married. Harvey Specter had a policy that he doesn't get emotionally attached to his clients. To him everything was business. He believed that that put him in a position of power. Many many lawyers hated Harvey Specter. Who doesn't like me? They did not like his methods. They believed he closed deals by playing dirty. I can't even mention the number of people who claimed they lost their wives to Harvey Specter. He was a serious playboy. I'm Lisa. Harvey. Even judges came up against him claiming he took their wives. Harvey Specter knew how to get clients for the firm. All his clients were big fish. All his clients adored him because he delivered. Well, all except for the ones he manipulated to have deals closed even against their own will. Some of Harvey's clients believed that Harvey Specter was all about himself. He doesn't care about anybody but himself. The main method that Harvey used to manipulate clients and other people is bluffing. Harvey Specter was the king of bluffing. No one would dare call out his bluff. This is mainly because of the confidence that he displayed when bluffing. You wouldn't guess that he is bluffing. A certain client of Harvey had agreed a deal to sell his company to another business. The vice president of the company that was being sold suddenly changed his mind. He no longer wanted to consent to the sale of the company unless his lawyer, Harvey Specter, helped him to release the president of his duties. The vice president, Gerald Tate, was about to kill the deal because of this demand. That meant that Harvey and his law firm were not going to receive any payment if the deal collapsed. To save the deal, Harvey had to use his bluffing skills. He told Gerald Tate that the agreement they had was that once the agreement of sale had been reached, the escrow account would release funds to Pearson Hardman, Harvey's law firm. 
He then pulled a paper from his pocket and pointed it towards Gerald Tate. He told Gerald that the paper was the receipt for the full payment his firm has received from the escrow account. Harvey then tells Tate that he doesn't care if the deal dies or not because he has already been paid in full. Tate realizes that he has no choice but to go on with the sale. The company has already lost money. When Tate leaves, Jessica Pearson, Harvey's boss, with a surprised face asks Harvey when payment was received from the escrow. She tells Harvey that she's not aware that a payment has been wired for the deal. Harvey tells Jessica that no payment has been made. He was bluffing. The receipt that he showed Tate is not a receipt but a motion for some other case. Tate just didn't take a closer look otherwise he would have seen that Harvey was bluffing. I guess he didn't take a closer look because of the confidence displayed by Harvey during the bluff. Besides being a movie character, Harvey Specter was an inspiration. He is the epitome of life at the top. He always called himself a winner. That mentality is necessary in life. I urge you to watch Suits if you want to have a feel of the good life. It's a good movie. It's entertaining, it's motivational, and it has that sense of thrill as well. But please, forget the part of hiring a school dropout to practice law. That only happens in movies. Do it in real life and you'll lose your license. Thank you for watching. Goodbye and stay safe.